noticed machine riders earlier. They seemed like they were racing or something. I don't know. Ah, Red! Just who I need. You know her? Great! Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. You'll get lost. And if thirst doesn't kill you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. Well, what about my sister? She's out there all alone. Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. What's the vanishing dread? That's what Stemmer calls the machine that stalks the sands out there. Sometimes you'll see it in the distance. A stationary blur of metal. It'll stay like that for hours. And then the next time you look, gone. Like it was never there. But what kind of machine is it? Don't know. No one's ever gone close enough to find out. A few of those Delvers went out there once, but all they found was a bunch of sand dunes. But I don't care what it is. It's not gonna stop me from finding my sister. The argument you had with Boomer? What was it about? Well, it started out as the same old spark and boom. I found her tinkering with one of my prototypes, trying to add explosives, as usual. And when I reminded her, that the last time she did that, she nearly burned the whole place down. She just looked at me and shrugged. Then we got into this whole scorched out mess about why we had to leave Chainscrape and come out here. Why for the love of the forge, she has to blow everything up. And what did Boomer say? Well, that's the thing. She didn't say anything. She just sat there, ignoring me. Even when I went to bed, not a word. And then, when I woke up in the morning, she, she was gone. She's never done that before. But knowing her, she's gonna get in some kind of trouble out there. And that's why I need to find her. What brought you and Boomer out west? Ah, uh, that. There was an accident in Chainscrape. An explosive accident? Well, you know how Boomer is. So we grabbed our tools and skipped town. Heard about a caravan striking out west after some passage got reopened. Decided to join up. But why come out here? You could have gone anywhere. Eh, can't really go back to the claim, and anywhere else is a little too... inhabited. At least out here, there's less chance of collateral damage. Besides, this place is gonna be a destination one day, right? Dad always said, get in early. If you think I can be bribed, Know that I only take shards up front. No credit. Maybe we got in too early. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here. Then that's where we'll start. Let's go. Ignoring me again. Lady! So this was a rebel camp, you said. I can't believe Boomer would do this. Any idea why she would head to the Arches? Probably just wanted to get as far away from me as possible. During the fight, I... snapped at her. Said some things I shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, 
Back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. Fading forage. I hope so. I'll wait for you, Red. You see those curves of metal sticking out of the sand? Those are the shock because they're a lot of damage. Some scrap in the sand. Maybe from the arches. Boomer's handiwork? Yeah, but no boomer. Let me search for tracks. There. Tracks. Maybe. Looks like they lead out into the desert. What were you thinking, boomer? Do you have any siblings, Red? No. Lucky you. It's just... Sometimes she can really greet your gears. And sometimes, most times, I have no idea what's tinkering in that head of hers. But she's all I've got. I just hope we can find her. We will. Tracks end here, but looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. Leave it to Boomer to litter the area with explosives. But where is she? If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. Favorite hammer. 
She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. Can you pick up any tracks? There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Let's go. There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? This way. Right. Scaling a big old cliff. How you doing, Della? Great. Yeah. Just, uh... I think it's just... Side of this rock. Not... What was this place? I don't know. It looks abandoned. A shelter. And some kind of device. From Boomer? Looks like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. Hey, look there. At the base of the wreck. Tools. Bet she found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh! Oh! Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? Let's blast through it. Never mind that now. Here they come! See, Boomer? This is exactly why I always say not to run off! Leave Boomer alone, you 
walking scrappy! What were you thinking? Those machines could have killed you. Pressure valve, check. Boomer. Boom disks, check. Boomer! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. Y you're not? No, why would I be angry? B because of our fight, be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom disks. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Ah, <sighs> here, let me see. That's why. Pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait! Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean literally. did you find your way to that old ruin? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. Down there.
was awesome! Bursting sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! Bye, Red! Aloy! Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here! Aloy! Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb, inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except? We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb, but a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it, please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> I don't have to swim down anymore.
the sweat, and I'm still not cooling off. This looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. The vent. There's a crate in that room. But how to get to it? Be useful. to reach the statue. Now to get the burner. Ah! Huh. Made it. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland.
break my fall. Stop. Warning's amazing elevating orb. Strike pieces. I've got the board. Fire, keep walking. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! There you are. Be well. Remedies and brutal. You're back. Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that?
was that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What was that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came out then. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry about! I can take this! I can take this! I can take this! I He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. I'm stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy. Oh, I can definitely find a use for this.
Your sudden and decisive departure was not something I was expecting. No, sorry. Hey, you all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, well, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. Shall we get back to it? Sorry, had to go deal with something. You were talking about something before I left. Now, as I was saying before... Ah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. <laughs> ah, Aloy. Let's get back to what we were doing. Sorry, I had to check something out. You were saying something before I left? Now, as I was saying before. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? I All think I found us a bridge. To bridge the gap. <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on those things. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be.
ahead. Aloy, uh, over here? When you have a moment. Sealed in my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Marland.